Hey guys, Tim Stewart here at Sunset Ford, beautiful corner of Gravelway and Lindbergh. Today we're talking to you about the brand new Explorer ST. It's a 2020 model. A couple different things that they, they've changed, going from 2020 back down to a 2019. Real quick look at this 2019. This is the Sport model, be the equivalent to this ST now. The Sport model had the, the 3.5 liter EcoBoost motor, 365 horsepower, 350 foot-pounds of torque. All the important stuff that you know about that. Had the aggressive black look. Well, they took that idea and improved upon it with this year's ST model. This vehicle has a brand new engine and transmission setup on it, as well as a whole different drivetrain setup on it. This has a three liter EcoBoost motor. It's gonna produce 400 horsepower and 415 foot-pounds of torque. So a, a drastic increase over what they did last year. Additionally, it is now made it to the 10 speed automatic transmission. And with it being the 10 speed, that means it's a real world drive based vehicle now too. So the performance of the vehicle is gonna be even better than it was before. With going with the rear wheel drive base on it, you increased your towing capacity from 5,000 pounds up to 5,600 pounds. So you picked up 600 pounds of towing capacity. On top of the increased towing capacity, you're gonna have a little bit more off-road capability with that rear wheel drive base on the vehicle. So it's gonna be a little bit more confident, a little bit more comfortable taking off-road. Another big thing that they did that's gonna be great for all the families that buy these vehicles is they increased the wheelbase. They moved all the wheels to the corners gave you a little bit longer wheelbase, made it look a lot longer than it is. This vehicle is only about an inch, inch and a half longer than it previously was, but that wheelbase increased almost six full inches. Went from a 112 wheelbase to a 119 wheelbase. So they really increased that space there. A couple things you pick up there. You're gonna pick up a lot of space for the back seat, which I'll show you in a moment, but you're also gonna pick up a, a better performing vehicle on the road. Whether you're driving at a high highway speed or you're just scooting around through the neighborhood, you're gonna have a more comfortable, confident ride in it. Talking about the exterior look on this vehicle, they took the aggressive look of the Sport and they made it even a little bit more so. Put that bright red ST badging on the front, kept the Explorer writing on the front as well on this uh, Sport mode. They also gave you the, uh, the big Ford emblem with the camera on the front for that 360 camera. Coming down the side, this one has the, the street pack on it, so it's an ST with a street pack. You're picking up a couple things here. You're picking up these 21 inch black gloss wheels, red brake calipers on there, and these beautiful 21 inch Pirelli tires on it. Keeps you very secure on the road, gives you a nice, good, comfortable driving feel on it. Coming down the side of the vehicle, this has all the important safety features you're looking for on a new Ford vehicle. It's got Ford Copilot 360 Plus, so it's got the forward facing camera, it's got the uh, lane keeping, it's got the lane centering with the adaptive cruise control. Additionally, it's got a couple other things that you might not have thought about, you might not have thought were important. It's got rear part a rear brake assist so if you're backing up and something gets in behind you it's gonna stop itself if something is getting into your way it's got the forward collision warning on it as well it's got adaptive cruise control with the adaptive cruise control it's got speed sign recognition on the vehicle so it's gonna tell you hey you're going too fast it's gonna slow the vehicle down come in here and take a look at this back seat setup on this vehicle they did make this a little easier for the family on the go trying to get in and out of the vehicle you're coming in you got a button right here you push that slides forward gives you nice easy access to that third row another thing they did was the take rate is so high on the bucket seats for the second row that they made that the standard setup and then went with the bench being the option so this is technically a six passenger vehicle as it's set up you can get in a seven passenger setup they give you a smaller version of the console as well those seats snap back in nicely give you a smaller version of the console in the center it's only got the two cup holders and a little little area to put, you know, an iPad, things like that in there. But you're still going to have a nice pass through there. So you don't have to move the console out of the way. You don't have to move the seat out of the way to get to that third row. Additionally, one thing I hear all the time with the bucket seats is, why didn't they give me an armrest for those bucket seats? Guess what, guys? It took seven years, but they finally put bucket seats with armrests on them for the second row. So you're going to have a nice, easy, comfortable ride back there for everybody. Let's take a look at the very back of the vehicle. Again, just like on... The front end of the vehicle, they made some modifications from last year's model, the previous model on it. The tailgate looks a little different. You're going to still see them, the aggressive look on it. They went ahead and did away with the hidden hitch on these vehicles. So now you have the, the open hitch style on the back there. It does have the foot activated lift gate. That doesn't work real good for cameras. So we're going to go ahead and push the button to open up. Back here, they changed it up a little bit. Come on in. You still got your setup with your buttons on the, on the back here for the seat. So you still have the ability to push the button, pop the seats up. Another nice thing that they did. They gave you a little storage compartment back here. Now, if you've looked at the previous Explorers, you had the, the drop down right behind the seat. Nice area there. Now, because of it being rear wheel drive, you have an axle there, so it's not as deep, but you still have a nice cargo area here. You got a cargo mat, and then you still have access to that spare tire as well. This is Tim Stewart here talking to you at Sunset Ford about the Explorer ST. Come on in and see us at the corner of Driveway and Lindbergh. You can email me at tstewart at sunsetford.com. Click like and 
subscribe on our YouTube page here, or you can call me at 314-467-1124. Thanks and have a great day.